Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Airport Sim. We're currently working our way through the tutorials. This is episode 3 of tutorials. That is how much stuff you have to do on this game. Now we've done things such as learning how to use the tablet, follow me car, etc, etc. And in the last episode we finished off with, uh, with the shuttle bus. However, now we're going to be looking today, well today we're going to be looking at the jetway and how to do some luggage. I don't know how far we're going to get, but, uh, but we shall see. So, uh, yeah, starting with the old jetway, you'll probably, if you've been on a plane, have used a jetway if you've gone to bigger airports. Uh, the jetway is basically not the stairs. In it's this thing. tutorial, you'll learn how to operate a terminal passenger jetway, also known as a jet bridge or air bridge. There you go, Mr. Boren's uh, summed it up. structures that are permanently attached to the terminal building on one side Over and here. connect to the aircraft on the other side to create a bridge for passengers to move from the terminal I wonder if we can actually go in here. Jetways are the most popular no. means of transport should be for able passengers to. at large and medium airports. Without further ado, oh. climb the stairs to the jetway. Right, we can go in here. Right, now, ooh, let's saucy. Talk about the construction and how it moves. Go on then. Tell me about it. Oh, do we have to wait for the plane? Right. Okay. Oh, cones are all out. Lovely. Are we, uh, yeah. Controls locked. Excellent. I wonder if we can actually just click these things. That would be quite useful. No. Nope. Are we, uh, it, it would be quite useful if it had said, like, wait for the aircraft. Nothing. Alright, the engines are off. You can hear that now, just about. I'm not quite sure what we're doing here. It'd be useful if we could look around, you know, just to, so we could sort of watch the plane. Nothing? No? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, controls locked, it says that. Bashing on the keyboard repeatedly is, uh, is not going to help the situation, is it? Come on. Oh, there we go. Okie dokie. The bridge connects the remaining part of the jetway to the terminal, which always ends in a support structure. Which is there. We can see that. The telescopic bridge extends or retracts depending on the operator's needs. Finally, the rotunda, which allows for adjustment by rotating around its circumference. Below is a mechanism that raises the entire bridge, and at ground level, there are wheels that move the rotunda and telescopic parts. Okie dokie. Now, let's discuss the controls. On the panel, you'll see a screen that displays the jetway's wheels. Yes. They show the relative rotation of the wheels in relation to the rotunda. You control the rotation and forward and backward movement of the wheels with the controls displayed on screen. Excellent. Then, to rotate the rotunda, use the buttons displayed on the screen. Okay, that's easy enough. To change the height of the cabin, use the buttons displayed on screen. What could go wrong? Now you understand how to move the jetway. So let's move on to docking oh. to an aircraft. Oh my lord. Right, uh You need to position the jetway ah. so that the platform threshold is level with the metal plate under the aircraft door. The door next to you must be aligned oh, I don't like with the it. aircraft door. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Remember to be careful around the aircraft to avoid damaging it. As with stairs, when you are properly positioned, a green light will start flashing. Right, okay, we've, 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 not, we've not done this brilliantly, have we? Right, there we go. Uh, that's probably better. I mean, this aircraft is about to be smashed in pieces. There. That's fine. No. Okay. Up or down is not happening here. I feel like we're sort of... I'd, it would be useful if I could look around. But your uh, your views are not working here. Oh my god. 
Oh, does anyone else feel a bit ill? Right, okay. God, if you saw this and you were just getting off a plane, you wouldn't be uh, you wouldn't be very happy, would you? At all. Right, hang on. Q and E. Ah, right, okay. That would work better. Aha! Go on. That's about right. That's fine. What are you on about? Everyone could step off there. Press enter to confirm the connection. Nothing. To connect to the aircraft, that can't be right. Look at that step. On That's ludicrous. No wonder I couldn't do it. Are we too far away? Is that what that is? Great. The cabin crew will now open the doors. I mean, they already have, but... Passengers will soon be disembarking and boarding. For tutorial purposes, we'll skip this step and go straight to disconnecting from the aircraft. Okie dokie. After all the passengers have boarded or disembarked, the crew will close the doors. Excellent. Then, to retract the canopy, press the button displayed on screen. Ah, right, yeah, you can see the canopy there, just in front. Quite a detailed little door mechanism, isn't it? Now switch the camera using the button displayed on screen. Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm getting too far ahead. Right, V. After oh, you can. The jetway must always return to its designated there we go. parking position, which is highlighted for you now. It is. Guide the jetway so that the wheels are in this area. I have. Great. You have just learned how to operate a terminal passenger jetway. Lovely. Remember that it takes some time. For... During yep. this time, you can perform other tasks around the aircraft. See you later. Yes, because obviously there would be more than one person doing this, whereas I am on my on my uh, on my Todd. Due to recent budget cuts at this airport, we have one ground handler for the whole airport. Now let's learn how to do some luggage on a 737. Now this is sort of the juicy stuff, isn't it? The stuff that you know you sort of imagine ground handlers to do. Well, they do. You don't have to imagine it. It does happen. Right. In this tutorial, you'll oh. learn how to service the luggage holds on a 737 MAX 8 aircraft. Excellent. To perform this task, you'll need a vehicle with a loading belt. Well, it just so happens we have one here. Tug and luggage cards attached to the tug. Good Firstly, lord. Prepare for luggage collection by opening the right forward and rear cargo doors. In well, the I think we're going to need this chap here. So to can we this, can we jump? And no, we have to do it in order, of course. Excellent. I mean, we shouldn't really approach it until it's stopped moving and the beacon light's gone off. Mm, guns are all out. Yep, let's just, uh, yeah, engine engine going off there. I'm assuming is this the outline of where it's safe to walk when the aircraft is there? Can we, uh, can we... No? Ah, it'd be right. It's practically off now, isn't it? Right, F to open. Lovely. Then, uh, do not walk underneath the wing. There we go. Right, okie dokie, run up to this now. Great. F to open. Next, Lovely. You need to position the luggage loader at the rear cargo hold. But before we start, remember to always unload the aircraft starting from the rear of the plane. Yes. Start at the Why? rear, the otherwise it'll fall over. Every aircraft is generally concentrated between the front and rear wheels as much as possible. To avoid a sudden weight imbalance potentially causing the aircraft to tip back onto its tail, you must first unload As Jet Blue found out. <laughs> front of the plane oh dear. Right, does, does this go up? Oh, it does, this right. This situation is Funky. also known as tail strike. Now, get behind the wheel of the luggage loader and drive it to the rear cargo hold. Excellent, it's there. Stop in the indicated zone. Is that it? That is the indicated zone. I'm here. All right. Now your task is to adjust the height of the conveyor belt so that it is just below the door threshold. This will make it easier for you to enter the luggage hold. Excellent. Right. Can we get out? The buttons displayed on screen. Next, carefully drive up to the luggage hold. Oh, we've crouched in. 
Excellent. Don't hit the plane with any force during this process. Ah. The lip of the conveyor belt only needs to be just there we near go. the lower edge of the whole door. Ah. Oh no, everybody's cases are going to end up on the floor. Now we need to drive the tug and car Oops. Oh no, they're all going to end up on the floor. So we can start oh the no, this is a disaster. Now, oh. These lovely matching cases. Very expensive matching set of hyacinths. Oh, disaster. They're all over the floor. Right, okay. Right, hang on. I've not been listening to anything he's just said. Right, off we go. Luggage, luggage, luggage. Right, connect to this one. I'm assuming I have to get out. Oh, hang on. There we go. I don't think we need several, do we? Well, I mean, the skill the is no question at all. The right, there we go. I'm assuming we can do something. The ah. Then exit the tug. ah. Ah, there we go. Hold on. Oh, wait, I'm beating you to it, pal. Yeah, we, we've done that. We've done that. Right, okay, we need to know... Uh, have we still got our cases? Yes, we do. Right, stop there. Get out. Move the, uh, move the doodah from over here. We'll just leave that on, it doesn't matter, does it? See, this would be more useful because obviously we should have, like, two people doing this, a minimum. Well, three people. One person should drive this into position. One person should be in the in the front of the plane there. There we go. And then one person should be stopping them from all falling on the floor. So, obviously, the luggage is going to have to... There we go. Crouch into here. Nope, this is not in the right place. Right. How do we... There we go. There we go, we'll just smash that through the floor of the aircraft. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. Right, up we go. Right, ooh, red case. Lovely. On you go. Blue case. Not very big, are they? I thought that this went, like, much further, but I guess you've got your fuel tanks and things, haven't you? Now Hang on. You need to transport all the Aha, quick. To the area and no, no. Them to the belt uh, quick. Them to None the of them are going on the floor. Right. Aha, look at that. One person can do it. That's not saying that we should make immediate budget cuts at the airport, but uh, it, it is possible, albeit stressful, with one person. Health and safety nightmare, though. Right. So bring the luggage. This is why when you stood waiting for your baggage uh, to be collected, or you stood waiting to collect your baggage, this is why it takes so long. Right, hang on, where are we going here? Is it in here? Oh, it is. Wow. Look at this. This is fantastic. Right, hang on. Right, round here. Yeah. Oh, that would be a crash. Oh, we we appear to be stuck round a, a post. Start the belt by pressing the button on the side and gently um, the right, hang on. There on we go. The Lovely. Plane. Yeah, we'll just whip it round the corner. That's fine. This is so cool. I love it. Right, hang on. So what do we need to do around here? We need to press a button. Yeah, they always start that first, don't they? There we go. Right. right. Off you go. Look at it go. Bye, suitcase. I love it. Right, hang on. Yeah. Can we, like, drop it from a great height? What happens if... Wait! <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, that's done. Just got to show how battered your suitcases get. Right, we've delivered the luggage. Great. Now we will deal with loading luggage onto the aircraft. Luggage is collected from the luggage sorting area through the appropriate slides, where it is automatically sorted by the system to make our work easier. Open the tablet and go to the operations list, then select Flight Mike Sierra 
3214 in the departure section. Yes. Check the box number where you select incoming luggage. As you can see, the suitcases will be delivered to the box indicated on the tablet. Drive there and wait for the luggage. CO1. Where is that? Is that here? Um. Aha! Right, okay. We still got this chap on the back, we do. Excellent. Hey, look at these ramps. Right, here we go. Your task will be to load the suitcases onto the luggage carts and deliver them to the front luggage compartment. Your task will be to load the suitcases onto the luggage carts and deliver them to the front luggage compartment. I know, you've just said. You need to do this one. Oh, is this for the rear? Nope, we'll take these ones as well. I think that this means the rear. And that means the front, maybe. Who knows? Right, on we get. Suitcases ahoy. Right, off we go. Open the door. Why are they not just left open? Is it cold out? There we go. I'm actually incredibly impressed with what we've achieved so far. This is fantastic. I'm impressed okay. that's not falling off either. Just like when unloading luggage, you need to use the luggage loader to load the luggage. Place it under the front cargo door and adjust the tape to the correct height. There we go. Right, Remember that's fine. To start the tape to move the suitcases up towards the aircraft. You'll have to enter and neatly arrange the suitcases inside the cargo. Nah, door. nonsense. Just bung them all in. It's fine. Are we putting them all in? Up it goes. Hang on, didn't we start with more bags than this? Oh no, we didn't. We we had. Right, hang on. In we crouch. Oh no, hang on. This is a disaster. Right. Put that there. Crouch. Oh no. Is that neat enough for you? Too much luggage in the cargo. Right. You just go up there a minute. Is this fine? So I'm assuming, there we go, that's neat enough, isn't it? Right, excellent. So neat. Right, you can obviously, oh, I didn't realize we dropped two of them. Oh, I'm still crouching that. I thought I'd got smaller. Right, close that. In we get. And then obviously we need to do the other one. Right. Off we come. You'd be horrified. Oh, what's happened? We, we appear to be clipped around there. Yeah, if you were watching this, you, you'd be mortified. You know sometimes they, uh, when you're on the plane, you can see all this happening. Thud. Right. Go back again. We don't need to drive this over. We'll just, uh, we'll just run over. Right. There we go. Yep. There's one. And two. Go on, up you get. Oi. There we are. Yes. Right. One. And two. That's done. No, oh, hang on. What's that? Oh, for crying out loud, we've forgotten a suitcase, people. Um, right, back to the doodah. Yeah, right, hang on. Oh, this plane is, uh, has been... It's taken some abuse, this aircraft, hasn't it, from us. Right, we need to put this case in the back. So that should be three cases in each, in each end, then.
There we go, right. As a final step, transport all the vehicles to the parking area so that they don't obstruct other activities. I mean, that was pretty successful, wasn't it? Hmm, park that there. Yep, yeah, I mean that is that's safely on its way now, that plane, Great. isn't it? Now you know how to unload and load luggage on a 737 Max aircraft. I mean I'm practically an expert. Oh, fantastic. Right, that's another tutorial complete. So now we need to do luggage on an A320. Surely that can't be too different. Hmm. I'm not sure. Right, okie dokie. Oh, I prefer an A320. How to service the luggage holds on an Airbus A320 Neo aircraft. Naturally, we need this chat first. To perform this task, you'll need a vehicle with a loading belt, a tug. Do you know what? This is the same tutorial, isn't it? So what we're going to do, we're going to quit that tutorial and uh, learn how to do the uh, how to do the fueling. Uh, right, okay. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do... Should we do fueling next time? No, we'll do a fueling this time. Seeing as we were doing the 737 just then, we'll learn how to fuel the 737 as well. What could go wrong? Don't think I've done the fueling before. I tried it on a... without learning the Hello tutorial. No. In this tutorial, God, he's you back. Learn how to handle refueling a 737 Max 8. Refueling an aircraft is one of the most dangerous tasks performed on an airport's apron. The hazard of fire, spills, and other dangers are high, so you must follow many safety rules. But don't worry, I will explain everything to you. I can do that. An aircraft is standing at the stand, with a planned departure very soon. Your task is to refuel the appropriate amount of fuel and ensure that the tanks are properly balanced. Get into the tanker truck and drive it to the vicinity of the indicated aircraft. Remember, under no circumstances should you turn off the engine in the tanker when refueling. There is an important reason for this. Namely, in the event of a fire, you must quickly move the tanker away from the aircraft and the terminal to prevent a potential disaster. God, the turning circle is shocking on this thing. Right, there we go. Okay. Jump out of the cab and then open the door to the tanker's fuel compartment. Right, yo. Whoa. Now you'll need to protect yourself and the aircraft from possible sparks by connecting the grounding cable. Grab the grounding cable on the left side of the container. Aha. To connect the grounding cable, go to the aircraft's rear wheel and follow the actions displayed on the screen. Right, there we go. F to connect. Then open the flap on the aircraft wing to prepare for connecting the fuel hose. No, right, okay. Approach the tanker, grab the fuel hose, and pull it under the wing and connect it to the inlet. Where's that then? Is that is that here? Oh yes it is, right, okay. Just go tottering over here, tottering over. Right, there we go. F to connect. Great. Now check the tablet for the amount of fuel you'll need to refuel the aircraft. Right, what do we need? 12,000 kilograms. Select the aircraft that you need to refuel. In the task table, you'll see the amount of fuel you need to refuel. Then go to the aircraft's refueling panel. I mean, is that, is that here? Yeah, right, that's that's here, obviously. It, it, refueling panel? I, I have no idea, but it's telling me to go here. I don't know what I'm doing. Do we do something on here? I mean, we do that. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is it is it just here? Is it is it like something really simple? Oh, is that it? Right, there we go. Ah, right. Okay. Now I'll explain how to operate the fuel panel. 
The panel is divided into three columns and three rows. Where yes. each is assigned to its corresponding fuel tank. Tanks one and two are wing tanks. And the that. tank is, as the name suggests, in the center of the aircraft between the wings. So that'll be what splits up our cargo in the first bolts. row, you'll find bulbs that illuminate when the valves are open. In the second row, there are valve switches which can be set to open and closed. Okay. The third row contains the fuel quantity selector dial, the current fuel level indicator, and the target fuel level indicator. Wow, it has absolutely no fuel at Since all. You already have the panel explained, we'll now focus on the refueling process itself. You must distribute the amount of fuel indicated on the tablet between the three fuel tanks of the aircraft. The fuel tanks in the aircraft are located inside the wings and in the central tank located between the wings. First, you refuel the wing tanks and then you yes. refuel the remaining amount of fuel to the central tank. Okie dokie. You'll need to calculate how to distribute the fuel between the tanks. Each wing holds 3.9 tons of fuel and the central tank holds 13.1 tons. To select the amount of fuel, toggle the right side of the switch. To stop, toggle the left side of the switch. Which switch? I've no idea. Are we are we still in this panel? Should we uh, should we look outside of here? Not something over here, maybe. Should we? I think we should do something like like that. Yeah. We'll do that. I feel like I've done that somewhere before. Uh, oh, right, left-hand side, right, okay, there we go, right, okay. So we'll fill that up completely to 3,900. Oh, you can do both. Lovely. So hopefully that'll stop at 3,900. Excellent, right, oh, I'm with you. So we need 12,000 kilos, minus 3,900, minus 3,900 is 8,100. So we need 8,100 in the middle. Great. Now open the valves in the wing tanks. To exit the panel view, press the button displayed on screen. No, we don't. We need 4,200 even. Right, there we go. I haven't pressed uh, enter on the old calculator twice. Uh, right, there we go. Ping that open as well. Right, close, close. Surprisingly easy, this one. Once you've found where everything was meant to be, I think the tutorial is fairly in-depth, but at the same time it could do with, like, sort of highlighting the areas you need to press. Was it just me that missed that? the pump in the tanker by pulling the first lever from the left. You don't have to worry about overfilling as it has an automatic fuel flow blocking system that will stop when the selected value on the computer is reached. Once the computer blocks the flow, you'll need to manually secure the valve by switching the switch to the closed position. To say this is a brand new 737 Max, it's, uh, it does look battered in here, doesn't it? This is a lot slower, isn't it, than these outer tanks? No smoking or using telephones near this uh, this thing. I wonder why. Hmm. Probably due to the fact that kerosene is highly flammable. Hmm. Yeah, probably that one. No, all fuel switches must not be in a closed state. Why can't I, uh, why can't I press F to view that?
Oh, we're nearly there. There we go. There we go. Right, then closed. Open the valve for the central tank to refuel it. I've done it. When finished, great. Approach the tanker. And right, turn, turn off, off the, the fuel, fuel pump. pump. Be nice if you could do that in now, one's fluid motion. Right, see out. Then disconnect the grounding cable, close the panel flap on the aircraft's wing, and close the flap on the tanker. Right, I'm going to close that first of all because I don't want to touch it whilst the grounding doodars are not connected. I'm sure it'll be fine, but you just never know, do you? Right, bring that over there. I think we've just successfully refueled the 737 MAX aircraft people. Right, there we go. Confirm that you have completed the task. Use the communication panel. Open it by performing the action displayed on screen. There we go. After opening Confirm. It, select the flight crew tab, then fuel, and find... Great. Now you can refuel the 737 MAX 8 aircraft. You will be able to do this task on your own during work. Just remember to move the tanker to a safe location after refueling. Until next time. Right here, well, there we go. We have learned how to do that. So, it's been another busy day. Next time, we're going to finish off the tutorials. Can you believe it? Four episodes of tutorials. We're going to do the fueling of the A320 and finally the pushback and walk around. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching Airport Sim today. If you have enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.